So King Bowen sent me a Frieder Elite. That's what it looks like here. It's specifically tailored to Ford. This is the Ford one. And right here on the back it says Frieder Elite USA Ford. They also have gen general ones as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this. I got an ABS laid down and I'm going to figure out what it is. 12.6 volts. It has an auto detect function here. I wish the tether was a little bit longer. It says you want Ford USA. Diagnostics for Ford. I'm pretty sure this will you be this can be used with other, other systems as well, not just Ford. It says now start the vehicle system detection. Okay, it picked up it's a 2007 Mercury Grand Marquis. And then it gives me my list of my data on what it is. Yes, information is correct. And now it's giving me a rundown health report. Basic diagnostic report gives me diagnostic time device information, shop name, Brighton Auto. It says ABS system, one code, abnormal. Right rear wheel speed sensor input signal error, back here. And I know exactly what it is. It says I have something in the climate control. Invalid engine cool and temperature. Oh, because of the tune. So it's gonna have some issues with that. This one says electronic automated. Okay, so this is a C1298FO, which is a right rear wheel speed sensor input signal. When I had to put the gear set in the vehicle and I had to modify the axle ends, uh, when I called the company up, they said sometimes they've, they've heard of people having to do that because of how tight the clutch pack is packed in uh, LSD, um, you may have to make some adjustments to how tight the clutch pack is packed so you can slide the axle through all the way. You can bring the shim in. So when I was like, well, hell, I'd like it to where when you're ready to lock that sucker up, it's ready to lock up. So if I got to modify it, I got to modify it. And I modified it and I noticed there was a little bit of walk to that wheel and more, more than you would normally get. And I bet you what happened was that that came in and it was barely rubbing something happened with that right rear wheel speed sensor either when we were working back there or it started rubbing it and it's making a ch -ch 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 sound and eventually it kind of went away but i think we had created too much walk for that right rear wheel speed sensor back there and uh probably ended up damaging that well wheel speed sensor but i'm gonna have to get it up on the rack pull the tire and stuff off but it gives you a full come on it gives you a full diagnostic report and that was quick. I mean, that was just minutes, and we were already in here. And then it gives you, like, your driver door, everything else. It, you can share it to an email. It has a function down here that says share. Let me see if I back out of here. What else I got? Uh, let's go to the PCM, see what functions we have for the PCM. Just while we're here, this is a quick... Launch is the company that makes this. Read fault memory, clear fault memory, read data stream, actuation test. Let's go to actuation test. Yeah, it lets you do actuation test. Let's just do fan control real quick. Let's turn AC off. And let's put it on. Yeah. 
Yep. Turns it on. That's cool. You can add it to a data stream. So there's a function down here that says add to data stream. So if we click add to data stream. Um, it'll give us canister venting status, crank fueling disabled, cylinder head temperature. There's a whole list of things that you could actually add to in data stream right here. So I'm going to just pick a few of them real quick. Engine load percent. Evaporative emissions canister purge fault. Fuel level. Um, fuel fuel rail pressure in PSI. Let's just hit OK and see what we got. special functions test oh power balance from this little handheld yeah and you get a graph of all eight cylinders that's pretty dang neat Relative, relative compression test. Let's check relative compression test. Apply the parking brake. The test will automatically... Okay, following conditions. Okay. Set the ignition key on. Okay. Fully depress the accelerator pedal down. Okay. And then crank the engine for 10 seconds. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one, zero. So it gives me my mean cranking RPM, which is 203. And it tells me my percent of loss on each cylinder. Or difference, I should say. All of them are zero except for cylinder three, which is one percent, which is nothing. That's that's absolutely nothing. It could have been that when we started, there was where that's where the I don't know the cycle got skewed or something, whatever it may be. But that's awesome, absolutely cool. Manually reset service option. Oh, it's oil life. Um, reset cam, your, your keep alive memory. If you do any kind of major fuel changes or, man, this, this has got a lot, there's a lot of functions to this thing right here. You can go in and add different things to it. There's reset options, different programs for resetting different things. <laughs> Gives you your, your monitors online and which ones are actually ready. Read live data, read freeze frame, clear fault modes, control component of onboard component operation, read vehicle information. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this little handheld right here that a lot of like, and it's bi-directional and it's this small. It's bi-directional. 
That's pretty dang neat. I have to say that I give this a. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is this is what's up. This is legit. Um, they sent me another one just like this, except it's for all makes and models, not specifically tailored to Ford. In in the past, it's a red one, and it doesn't say anything right here, like on this one where it specifies that it's tailored to USA Ford. Um, it's just a general one, but this is pretty cool. I like this. This is uh, this is what's up. This is this is pretty legit here. And I need to get in and uh, check to see what's going on with that wheel speed sensor. Okay. Talk to you all later. Be blessed. Just basic review. Have a good one.